Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. You can find the link to download the zip file in the description below. You will find two folders. In start folder, you will find all files you need to follow this tutorial. In the end folder, you will find the final Dynamo script and all related files. Open the downloaded folder, go to start folder. I have already opened this sample project and the Dynamo file which The goal of this tutorial is to create a Dynamo script to calculate minimum cable length from electrical fixtures to electrical mainboard. So before we start, let me explain you briefly the algorithm we are going to build. First, we will build uh, our network from these cable trays. What I mean by network, I'm going to draw here. So somehow we need to build this line network. We will also add this path for each electrical fixture. Once we have built this lines network, we can use topologic software to find shortest path. So we will provide the topologic software, this network, this, in this initial point. endpoint and topology will find the shortest path and we can check for the length and save this value to Revit parameter. So let's jump to Dynamo. So open the Dynamo. So we are collecting all these elements. Look for get location. Connect here. And these are our electrical fixtures location point. And copy this node. So as you can see in background, we have the for each cable tray we have we have extracted its location line. So as you can see, somehow we need to fill this gap. So I'll show you the technique I used. You can look for MEP. So make sure you have installed MEP power package you can install from packages search for package and install it look for MEP connectors info this load so let me explain you briefly the concept each Cable tray fitting has four connectors and we can extract its lo location point. Connect here, run Dynamo. For each fitting, its point location, which is this output. So look for point average. Make sure you have installed clockwork package Connect here. So look for line. 
start point is our from average point we connect the output here so as you can see in the background we have connect all lines using this technique getting connectors location point finding its average point and build lines okay so now look for flatten node connect here look for list join join these two lists this one and okay so we have successfully built one part of our network the remaining the remaining part is create this path let me show you this path so let's add these paths to current network okay so now first we have we need to find the closest line to these locations okay so to these points so we can f use a node called geometry distance to and look for electrical fixtures location output which is this one connect here change the level and make sure it is set to level 1 ok hit run if we need to find the closest look for sort by index value look for first item we only interested in the closest one change the level here make sure it is set to level 2 hit roll so now look for get item at index and look for this output from list join connect here hit run so as you can see for each electrical fixture point we have find its closest love the closest line to it okay closest point so we need to find the point on the network which is closest to our electrical fixtures point and look for this node connect here so as you can see for this electrical fixture point the closest point the, is this one So now using these two parts we can make our we can build the path from electrical fixture to cable tray. So look for geometry translate. Let's move we will move this point in Z direction. How much we need to move this? The height between these two points, okay? So look for point Z value for each point. 
kuna tewe x minus y and our x value is this one and y is electrical fixture z value hit run perfect we have find a new point now we will use these three to three points to make the path look for line and copy this node again we have built our network Now look for list join. Look for the output of cable tray location network. And once more, connect tail, hit run. So make sure the list has no nested list. So now we are going to use topologic software. Okay. So make sure you have installed topologic. Go to topology. Topology by Geometry, connect here. Look for, now go to Cluster, Cluster by Topologies, connect here. Now go to Topology and look for Self Merge. Hit run. Perfect. I'm not going to explain how it's work, how work topology. Make sure you check Dr. Singh Jabin YouTube channel and you can learn from there about topology. So now we are going to build a graph. Look for graph top by topology. And tolerance. We can add 0 0.01. 0 Hit run. It's working. Look for graph vertices at coordinates. Here, connect the graph. So now look for point x. So our start point will, will be our electrical fixture location point. Okay. So we, we can find here electrical fixture, this one. Connect here. Look for flattened node. Copy and paste it. So change this to N vertex. Select point on face. 
we are going to man manually specify our destination point so select and make sure you are selecting the end point of this center line click here make sure the start worker level is set to 1 and hit let's just hit run so it's working for each electrical fixture topologic has find the shortest path so now let's decode this look for look for topology geometry okay look for flatten connect here look for poly curve poly curve curves okay this note perfect so let me show you visually that it is working I just have built this part to show you that it is working fine. So, for example, in this electrical fixture, the shortest path is this one. So, as I move, as I increase the value of this slider, you will see the shortest path for different electrical fixtures. Make sure you have this manual mode in automatic mode. change slider value as you can see the this is working fine so but our target is to set to get length of each path okay so we can look for curve length in this node connect here set back to manual mode so we have for each path we have extract the length now what we can do is set parameter by name if you go back to Revit and select this electrical fixture you can see we have created a parameter called cable length and we'll set the value here okay now connect all these elect collector of electrical fixtures which is this node connect here go back everything is set so now hit run The output of collector is this node, not this one. Connect here. Again, hit run. So now everything's for fine. We have calculated for each electrical fixture the minimum cable length. So it's an approximation. You can, of course, improve it. You also you can add mul multiple floors and connect everything. Connect every cable tray and use this script this show this will work okay so this was our goal and we have completed the dynamo script thank you